Hey there, it's Ben Clifton here down at the Epicenter. Um, and I'm just reaching out to stay connected with you via um, this technology. And I want to make sure that you're equipped to do that yourself. Um, as you know, in this time of social distancing, we're trying to keep socially connected uh, with uh, this technology. And so the platform that we are using is very popular and very easy to use. It's called Zoom. I just wanted to walk you through some short instructions on to make sure that you can use it as well, to both join us and to uh, join your friends and family um, as well. Uh, it will work on basically any platform. It works well on laptops, on desktops, and on mobile devices, smartphones, etc. So the first thing you need to do is get the app. So depending on what device you're on, uh, you just go to their uh, website, uh, and I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, it's zoom.us, you can see right here. You click on sign up for free to get a free account. All you need is an email address. With that free account, you can connect with uh, anybody. Uh, the only limitation is if you call a meeting uh, and there's more than two people, uh, two participants, I should say, uh, you're limited to 40 minutes per meeting. And the easy get around is just to uh, uh, close that meeting at 40 minutes and start up a new one uh, and you're good to go. If you're just with two people, it can go on forever with the free account. If you join another meeting with somebody that has the paid account, then it can go on forever too, no matter uh, whether you have the free one or not. So go to zoom.us, sign up for free, um, and that will uh, walk you through downloading it onto your computer or your laptop. Uh, if, you're, if you're using a computer, your laptop undoubtedly will have a camera and a mic and speakers. If you're using a desktop, make sure you have a webcam uh, with a microphone in it and some speakers as well. Uh, if you're using a mobile device, uh, it's equally easy. Uh, you just go to uh, either the, uh, the App Store, oops, not this one. Go to this other one, there we go. Uh, yes, there we go. Okay, just go to the App Store, either the Apple App Store or the Google Play one, and download the appropriate mobile app onto your phone. Um, if you go to uh, the Apple Store, it will look basically, whoops, uh, stop sharing. It will look basically like this. It's the Zoom Cloud Meetings app and just download it. Once you have it downloaded, uh, go ahead and launch it. And if it asks you to walk through a few steps to set it up, uh, no problem. Uh, probably make sure that you, if you're on a desktop or a laptop, Go to the settings and uh, click on the video and click on the audio and walk through the few tests there. Uh, there's, lots of, uh, there's lots of tutorials on YouTube um, that you can watch as well. Uh, let's see if I have, uh, for instance, this one here. Um, you can watch a short video. It will walk you through uh, how to use the app. Uh, usually if you are joining a meeting, whoever uh, called the meeting will send you a meeting invite or a link that you just click on. And once you click on that, you land into the meeting. If you're calling one yourself, you just start a meeting and then there's a way to send the link or send invites to people that you want to join the meeting. The way I like to think about it that's very intuitive is think of your meeting as your own conference room. Okay, and so if you call a meeting, you're calling people into your conference room, and when you give them the link, it's like you're giving them the key to come into your conference room. And when they click that, that link, they're walking through the door and joining you in your conference room. If somebody else calls a meeting, they're calling it in their conference room, and they're giving you the key to come in there. So whenever you click on the link that they send you, then you're basically walking into their conference room and joining that meeting. So it's a great tool. Um, and I hope that, um, uh, that during this time of social distancing, we can use this technology to probably connect maybe even more so than, uh, than we have before. So hope this was helpful. Feel free to reach out uh, to me. Uh, if you have any challenges getting this going. 
And I'm not giving you my contact info because uh, if you're going to reach out to me, you already have it. Okay? Good luck and look forward to seeing you online. Take care.